it seems like Toei are finally ready to put Goku back on the small screen as a new anime title. Dragon Ball Daima is confirmed to release sometime in fall 2024. Following our beloved Goku, Vegeta, Bulma and other characters as they become younger than usual. While this isn't the news some might have been hoping for, Daima is gearing up to deliver an entirely new and original story set in the Dragon Ball universe that is in no way a continuation to Dragon Ball Super. Rather, this new series will focus on the gap of time between Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, meaning Dragon Ball Daima is a completely new original story telling all new events. More information on Daima will be announced during the next Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour on January 27, 28. Another important news is that the series creator Akira Toriyama is deeply involved beyond his usual capacity in this anime, overseeing the original work, story, character design, and more, additionally planning entirely new episodes for the storyline. Dragon Ball Daima will follow the Scion, including other characters who are all set to be DH, forcing them to travel off to a new world. And since Goku has to make up for his petite size, we will see the return of his power pole to fight, something not seen in a long time. With Kaioshin by his side, you can imagine what sort of adventures the pair will get into as Goku ventures on yet another adventure. An announcement video was also revealed, showing to us a mysterious figure watching the epic battle between Goku and Majin Buu with great interest, along with a new world never seen in Dragon Ball before. Additionally, the teaser also showed glimpses of the magician Barbary from the Majin Buu saga, meaning that there is a chance that the new villain for Daima is in some way related to the magician, which also supports the Japanese meaning of Daima, translating to evil, plus the supposed news that this series will have the English title Dragon Ball Magic. Some of you DB fans might be thinking on how this is quite similar to Dragon Ball GT in which Goku reverts back into a kid after the end of the original series. However, it should be noted that Toriyama was not involved in that GT, which also was never a canon part of the franchise. So maybe this is his way of giving to us an hopefully improved GT version. The latest entry of the Dragon Ball franchise, which was a huge success, Dragon Ball Super, Super Hero, which gave a long needed focus on Gohan, came in theaters last year, following the events of Dragon Ball Super Brawly and the events of the actual TV anime. This news is certainly unexpected and personally a little frustrating considering that there is enough manga material to continue on from Dragon Ball Super which ended on the beloved Tournament of Power arc and with Daima going chibi likely meaning that characters like Goten and Trunks will be getting sidelined. But then again, I do like what I'm seeing and if there is something new to be shown here, I don't see why this cannot work. It might be fun to see how characters like Vegeta and Bulma will handle their new age. And the chibi concept does sound refreshing. I definitely like to see Goku get his trusty power pole back, which was always an awesome part of the action. Most importantly, there is no reason to take Daima as a sign that Super is never returning, considering that this announcement is meant to celebrate Dragon Ball's 40th anniversary. Given this, it would make sense that Daima is Dragon Ball's big 2024 release, while a hypothetical return for Super could be looking more at a 2025 release, giving the manga more room to breathe. I'm expecting Daima to be a more light-hearted comedy with a minuscule mix of serious moments, which I hope isn't true. Because I love a more serious Dragon Ball, but with the chibi-esque models, we really cannot be expecting much of serious action. In the end, it is nice to have new Dragon Ball content and I'm sure many others will also feel the same way and hopefully Daima will be something to look forward to. If you enjoyed this video then do consider subscribing to my channel for more.